Ball for Fowler to take on David Seaman. That's got And it is. That's amazing. I think Fowler was saying no. I think he was saying no about the possibility. From Marcelo Bielsa's surprising decision to let his team concede a goal, to Paolo Di Canio's remarkable act of sportsmanship by refusing to score after a foul, these are the moments that define the true spirit of football. Here are 15 incredible acts of sportsmanship in football history. Robbie Fowler vs Arsenal 1997 We go back to 1997 to Highbury, where Liverpool's Robbie Fowler showed us that honesty truly is the best policy. In a heated match against Arsenal, Fowler was through on goal when he tripped and fell under pressure from the legendary David Seaman. The referee pointed to the penalty spot, but Fowler immediately got up and tried to convince the ref it wasn't a foul. Can you imagine that? A striker turning down a chance to score. Despite his protests, the penalty was awarded, but Fowler's honesty won him a FIFA Fair Play award and the respect of fans everywhere. Paolo Di Canio vs Everton 1998 Next, we travel to Goodison Park in 1998 where West Ham's Paolo Di Canio redefined fair play. The Italian, often remembered for his fiery temperament, had a moment of pure sportsmanship. With the game tied and only seconds left on the clock, Di Canio was presented with a golden opportunity to score when Everton's goalkeeper collapsed. Instead of seizing the chance to win, Di Canio caught the ball, stopping the game to ensure the keeper received treatment. This act of compassion earned him a standing ovation and an award for fair play. Leicester City vs Nottingham Forest 2007 Now, what is going on here? Paul Smith is going to being elected. What a sporting gesture that is from Leicester City. Moving forward to 2007, the Carling Cup match between Leicester City and Nottingham Forest was a moment where winning took a backseat to sportsmanship. During halftime, Leicester's Clive Clara collapsed in the dressing room, leading to the game being abandoned. When the teams reconvened three weeks later, Leicester's players allowed Forest to walk the ball into the net, restoring their lead from the abandoned game. It was a touching tribute to the spirit of fairness that we rarely see in today's win-at-all-costs environment. Miroslav Klose vs Napoli 2012 Let's head to Italy in 2012, where the legendary Miroslav Klose showed that integrity is more important than goals. While playing for Lazio against Napoli, Klose used his hand to score a goal early in the match. Now, many players might have kept quiet, but not Klose. He admitted to the handball and the referee disallowed the goal. Klose's honesty wasn't just a lesson in sportsmanship, it was a reminder that fair play is worth more than a place on the score sheet. A main motive of his health today, 2010. Our next story takes us to Iran in 2010, where a main motive of his health today, playing for Maga Mavad faced a dilemma during a crucial relegation battle. With his team trailing and the opposing goalkeeper injured, Amin had the chance to score an easy goal, but instead of capitalizing on the situation, he kicked the ball out of play. Even though his team was later relegated, Amin's selfless act left a lasting legacy in the world of football. By the way, if you're enjoying these stories of sportsmanship, be sure to like the video, drop a comment with your favorite moment, and hit that subscribe button for more amazing football content. Alright, back to the video. Jan Vertonghen vs SC Cambour 2006 Back to Europe, where young Jan Vertonghen, playing for Ajax in 2006, accidentally scored while trying to return the ball to SC Cambour's goalkeeper after an injury stoppage. Rather than celebrate, the Belgian urged his teammates to stand aside and let Cambour score to even the playing field. It's not every day you see a team intentionally let in a goal, but Vertonghen's actions showed that some things are more important than winning. Kostin Lazar vs. Otilo Galatze 2009 In Romania 2009, Kostin Lazar of Rapid Bucharest was awarded a penalty after a seemingly fair tackle. But Lazar, in a rare display of honesty, told the referee that the defender had won the ball cleanly. The ref overturned the decision, and though Rapid missed out on a scoring opportunity, Lazar's actions embodied the two-spirit of the game. Vittorio Esposito 2012 now let's take a look at Vittorio Esposito, a player from the lower leagues of Italy, who in 2012 took the concept of fair play into his own hands. After being awarded a controversial penalty, Esposito, who played for Termoli at the time, decided to intentionally miss, sending the ball over the crossbar. 
It's not often you see a player voluntarily give up a scoring chance, but Esposito's commitment to fairness was nothing short of extraordinary. Yeovil Town vs Plymouth 2004 in 2004, Yeovil Town found themselves in a sticky situation during a League Cup match against Plymouth. After an accidental goal by Yeovil's Lee Johnson, intended as a return pass following an injury stoppage, manager Gary Johnson ordered his players to stand still and let Plymouth score to level the game. It was a remarkable act of sportsmanship, proving that fair play isn't just for the players, but for the coaches too. Arsene Wenger's Replay Decision FA Cup 1999 And who could forget Arsene Wenger's incredible gesture of fairness in 1999? During an FA Cup tie against Sheffield United, a controversial goal by Nwankwo Kano led to uproar. Wenger, recognizing the unfairness of the situation, offered to replay the match, despite Arsenal's 2-1 victory. The decision wasn't just bold, it was a statement to Wenger's belief in the values that make football the beautiful game. Marcelo Bielsa and Leeds United 2019 Our next story comes from a more recent incident in 2019 involving Marcelo Bielsa and Leeds United. In a match against Aston Villa, Leeds scored a controversial goal while a Villa player was down injured. Bielsa, in a moment of true sportsmanship, ordered his team to allow Villa to score uncontested right after. It was a move that stunned the football world and solidified Bielsa's reputation as a manager who values fairness above all. Oliver Kahn's Comforting Gesture 2001 In the high-pressure world of the Champions League final, emotions run high. But in 2001, Oliver Kahn showed us that sportsmanship still prevails. After Bayern Munich defeated Valencia in a tense penalty shootout, Kahn, instead of joining his team in celebration, went straight to comfort Valencia's distraught goalkeeper, Santiago Canizares. It was a touching moment that demonstrated empathy and respect, even in the face of victory. For this act, Kahn was awarded the FIFA Fair Play Award. Real Madrid's support for Eric Ebedal. Football rivalries don't get much bigger than Real Madrid versus Barcelona, but in 2012, Real Madrid's players set aside their differences to show support for Barca's Eric Ebidal. After Ebidal was diagnosed with a liver tumor and needed a transplant, Real Madrid's players wore t-shirts with messages of support for him before a match. It was a powerful reminder that some things are bigger than football, and in times of crisis, even the fiercest rivals can stand together. The world unites for Fabrice Mwamba 2012. Our final moment is one of global unity in the face of tragedy. In 2012, Bolton Wanderers Fabrice Mwamba collapsed on the pitch during a match against Tottenham Hotspur. His heart stopped for a staggering 78 minutes, but the response from the football community was immediate and overwhelming. Players, fans and teams around the world came together in support with chants and prayers for Moamba filling stadiums worldwide. This outpouring of compassion showed that at its core, football is a family, united in the face of adversity. And there you have it, 15 moments that prove why football is called the beautiful game. These acts of sportsmanship remind us that while winning is important, it is the way we play the game that truly matters. So, next time you're on the pitch, or even just watching from the stands, remember these stories and let the spirit of fair play guide you. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more incredible football stories. Until next time, keep the game beautiful.